The most recent update to the MCC has changed this game forever. And I really don't ever see the Master Chief Collection ever dying off because there's gonna be endless amounts of content for people to jump in and play. And it's never been easier than ever before than right now. With the Steam Workshop integration now with the Master Chief Collection, you can just click on any kind of mod hit the yes button basically, and then it's in your game. It's super easy. When Master Chief Collection was announced to come to PC, this is everyone's first thought was, oh my God, Steam Workshop support. Now it took us a while to get to this point since the PC launch happened, I believe in like November of 2019, if I remember correctly. But now it really does feel like MCC is given to the community now to run with it and have some fun. And this mod right here, totally does that. This is a custom Halo 3 campaign mission where you have to go save Sergeant Johnson. With the mod tool support now with MCC, the ability to create awesome experiences that are fan created is now available for everyone to try out. This campaign does a great job of scripting like audio lines, music, the AI scripting is pretty well done, the level design is pretty cool, it just feels like another Halo 3 mission which, I mean I love playing Halo 3 so whenever I get a chance to do it, I'm going to. If you guys have played any mods with the Steam Workshop, let me know in the comments down below. I definitely want to check out some good ones. But how good is this campaign mission, really? Well, check it out. What's your status, oh Sergeant my god, Major? they actually have like actual cutscenes with this. Yeah, they definitely copied this straight from the first mission of Halo 3. Those animations at least, but this is a totally new environment. Oh my god, this is actually really well done. First impressions, on point, man. Let's go. Even has the cutscene saving Johnson again. <laughs> this is a completely custom campaign mission in halo 3 which is pretty freaking cool and i see the a start shooting stuff there we go oh i'm totally gonna ram this turret right here i don't care how much damage i take oh wow friend the a's are just slaying everything oh god we flip get the brute there you go get the brute there we go you even have checkpoints set in this thing oh my gosh this person thought about everything when it comes to making this campaign but this is something i think that everyone wishes they could do right this is something i think we just generally wanted what the heck i just flipped like crazy oh uh, well i was trying to say I think this is just something that everyone, we've all wanted when it comes to like saying Forge creations, right? And be able to do this natively within Halo Infinite for the Forge mode, which would be amazing, but obviously quite difficult to do because you have a lot of scripting that takes into place. Assets, you know, space to be able to create such large environments and things like that, which are really difficult to do. I mean, with the recent updates with Forge, right? Being able to have static objects so then take up less memory and stuff like that, which that was the biggest issue in Halo 5. But now, you can probably pull something out very similar to this in Halo Infinite, which would be amazing. But this is why I wanted to showcase you guys! Oh no! <laughs> showcase the Steam Workshop capabilities with you guys, because this is what PC mods have to offer. This is something that I've been waiting for in Halo for since I ever heard it coming to PC. I was like, oh my god, Steam Workshop, please let it be true. Let, the, let everything be amazing. And it looks like it's being just that right now too. Oh, we got more brutes coming in. This is just one of those things where you let the community kind of take control of a game almost in a way or give them the tools to be able to create things and well, they will run with it. And this is perfectly an example of that happening. But this really does feel straight up like Halo 3 campaign mission, but it's a complete mod, which is so cool. Because there's one thing about uh, like, if you guys are new to any PC mods and stuff like that, you hear like Steam Workshop first, but you're probably like, what the heck is that? Why is it important and why should I care? Well, it's exactly for reasons like what I'm playing right now. Because with the ability to make custom content within the game, you're able to just do so much. And this is a perfect example of that so much example of what I'm talking about. With having the, your own custom campaign, they actually even tuned the weapons a little bit too. Like saying the pistol here, they said it should act more like the CE pistol rather than like how it is in Halo 3, which is a uh, pretty lame version of the pistol. I remember when I first played it, I'm like, man, this doesn't, this really does not hit the same. Especially remember back in the day when I remember Halo 2 launched, a lot of people were very upset of there not being the CE quality pistol in the game. And I, they, I heard that they also said that this campaign can be a little bit more difficult than your standard campaigns too. I mean, this is again, an example of what you can do when you get the community, the ability to play around in your engine, given the proper tools, they can basically just kind of make the game Game they want now custom campaign mission is incredibly difficult to pull off and it's amazing that they're able to do this oh my god they even like have queued up voice lines for when you hit the certain points of the map dude like this is person went all out with the the details when it comes to creating a mission that really does feel like a campaign mission and not just like some weird mod that somebody made oh god look i found the bounty i found the treasure trove of the, of the newbies <laughs> 
Get them all. Give me a new warhog. That's cool. Are able to, am I able to gun actually in this? Or was AA gonna be able to figure it out? Because <laughs> if you all remember the AI pathing for driving, it's not exactly the best. Oh, wow. Here they come. I can imagine for a custom campaign mission that being even more unlikely that the AI would be able to drive around and take control and be able to react to so many, so many unique situations, especially 2007 era Halo 3 AI. But we'll see what happens here. I mean, we're moving. That's one step. Okay, I got enough. Let's, uh, let's get back into this. Get to the bridge. Can I get up there? All right, how do we, how do we get up there? Is there a grapple shot I could use, right? <laughs> oh, this door wasn't open before. Wow, that's awesome, man. Dude, this is so cool. The great thing is that there are also custom maps and campaign missions and mods for those campaigns for all the other games within the MCC right now. You can download uh, different Halo 3 mods, like to have a unique maps that are tied to them as well. Let's pick up an SMG and see how this plays out right here. Yeah, you have custom multiplayer maps, you have custom campaign missions, you have customization you can pull off as well. I saw General Heed put in uh, his mod where you can actually play as General Heed in Halo 3, which is pretty freaking hilarious. Now, I did get scanned for that as well, so we might be able to see a content creator pack coming in for Halo 3 mods sometime soon. If so, I mean, if you want to play as Kevin Coolax in, uh, in Halo 3, then, uh, you know, more power to you. Get that fire rate so much faster. Holy crap. This is me playing on mouse and keyboard. I'm able just to spam that trigger super fast. Like, look how fast. They really reduce the fire rate. Oh, no. That's a big bad brute. That's a big bad brute. I got him at least. Yeah. We can pick up his hammer as well. Let's go. And plus, if you guys would like to see more mod content like this for videos, you know, feel free to let me know. I can definitely highlight some of the better bits of content that are out there for you to download. But you can just go to the Steam Workshop and then just download things, which is just so cool. You can just see something you like, click down, subscribe, which you should do on this channel, by the way. <laughs> it's what they say on the, the thing anyways, is to subscribe to a different type of Steam Workshop mod. And you can just put it right into your game and play. Now you do have to boot into the mode with anti-cheat off, meaning you cannot play with the uh, online matches and stuff like that, because obviously that'd be borderline, you know, you might be having issues with hacking and stuff like that, which you can't have. Because if you boot up to the online version with the anti-cheat on, then you'll just be, won't be able to play these different types of mods. Oh, they have the red plasma rifle but then shoots black blue plasma okay i gotta say maybe i won't be able to not able to change everything <laughs> all right we gotta get johnson back here buddy where where's our boy where's our boy J big j Ooh, a shotgun okay let's go Oh my god, it slays, dude. Oh, what did we find here? It goes into like the whole cinematic mode, plays some music, dude. Let's go, dude. That's so cool. This mod is amazing, man. The creator of this mod just like knew exactly what they were doing. I have a sniper rifle and a rockets. I can't waste on these little tiny little wimpy little mod guys. Oh, that's a lot of dudes, though. That's a lot of dudes. Oh, bingo. <laughs> oh, you ain't going nowhere there, buddy. Oh, no shields though. Oh gosh. Oh, get some rockets in your face. Oh god, now I'm like completely out of ammo. Oh no, it's a grenade right in my face. Oh jeez. Oh, he's berserking on me. Oh my gosh. Man's got hops. Dude, it's so weird to be able to fire this carbine as fast as you want. It's so weird. <laughs> so glad this is not, uh, there's restrictions with it in multiplayer. Because it's like this in multiplayer. Oh my god. Look at this, that little side flank kind of motion right here. This person definitely thought of everything when it came to level design, especially. Dude, this map is like a, if the person who made this was like, like this is going to be my living resume. Is this map right here. Oh, there's a whole freaking squad of grunts in here that definitely, definitely want to meet the maker. Oh gosh, no. Oh, that's what I get for being overly confident right there, dude. Oh my gosh. Let's try this again with uh, less dying. I think less dying would be perfect for this uh, this playthrough. I'm playing on normal, dude. Like sometimes it just catches you off guard a little bit with this mod. Get that free shot. Yeah. Especially with the Steam Workshop now available for this game, guys. Like it's just like the doors is left wide open. It's gonna be so much easier for people to actually enjoy mods within the MCC because previously what you had to do was save a copy of whatever the content was. We had Johnson, we can hear it. You can hear us. I, I even know he's a prisoner somehow he has a radio to contact us because it's kind of it's a little more like i think more of an audio kid just kind of like now we're getting towards the end here oh my gosh that grunt almost got me right there this guy will not go down jesus christ this morning i was shooting in the hand to make him pop back but yeah now that you have the steam workshop it's just so easy just to install mods to play them that you're gonna start seeing a lot more people playing these things more often. Might even have to see some more live streams and stuff like that, which would be really cool. There you have some like live stream nights. We play some mod content on my Twitch channel, which if you guys want to, I mean, 
Link in the description down below in the pinned comment and in my uh, description as always. I always have it in the description of my videos. Oh, we us uh, not kill ourselves. That'd be great. I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening. But guys, if you guys want to come by and hang out, more than welcome to. We'll get some infinite, play a little MCC. I'll link us up in between. Plus, I have some good content to play. Well, you know, I'll be playing it with you guys. I'm just able to just jump right up here like this. Oh, yeah. I guess that's the intended path. Wait, no, there was a route up that way. See, that's, oh, man. The creator of this level, dude, just kind of thought of just a little bit of everything when it came to just like playing Halo. Man. I've always felt like that's a really key aspect of playing Halo. It's like giving players the freedom to be able to traverse and play however they want. Oh, that is a big bad boy brute. It's stuck. Yeah, 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 you might be on my side, you know, but it was, trust me, it was worth, maybe I get a couple band-aids afterwards, but trust me, it was worth it, guys. So if you thought MCC mods were kind of like on the up and up or like a cool thing that they can do, like you're going to start seeing them a lot more and a lot more people are going to be playing them and it's because it's just the ease of use. It's just increased tenfold over. It's just a huge life, quality of life improvement for this franchise in the MCC, giving you another breath of fresh air, giving you another reason why you need to play this game. If there wasn't already enough of a reason to play, I mean, MCC is a fantastic, but I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you've probably played enough MCC to get your fill for probably the rest of your life for a while the time we were waiting for Halo Infinite to come out. But that's what these mods here are here to do, is to extend the life of Halo MCC, extend the life of classic Halo, and keep coming back and playing more. Oh my gosh, that's it, Hunter. There's two of them, oh my gosh. Oh, you blew the cover away. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, I need some grenades or something, man. I don't have the proper materials. Oh, that guy has a... Oh, my... He has a freaking Spartan laser. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. Give him, give him an old Hunter loop-de-loop -loop right here. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's, oh gosh, we're in pain. No. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Yeah, they weren't kidding. This is more difficult. You got guys with two... Fruits with Spartan lasers. Two hunters. Like, this is a bit much. This is a normal difficulty, brother. Hey, right, let's give him the hunter loop to loop here. Oh, God, no. Oh, the hunter's AI is so much better in this mod, too. Holy crap. They, they are on point the entire time. They do not let up. Okay, let's try to get him to do the hunter. Oh, my gosh. I got Spartan lasers again. Okay, this time we're going to be focusing on the brutes. Let's get them brutes. One brute is down. The second brute. Ask for more. Ask for seconds. Stop being a Spartan laser, buddy. Where's Spartan lasers? Okay. Oh, I got Spartan lasers against hunters. I guess we'll find out. Oh, very good. They're very good against hunters. I like this. Okay, this is definitely was the play. This is definitely intended, but yeah, there's just enough ammo in there for two hunters, too. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely the intended gameplay mechanic. Oh, I love that. I just feel extremely fortunate that I made that brute berserk to where I was able to get the Spartan laser, but... Yeah, that was amazing. Oh, a new cutscene? Okay. Here we go. Oh, this is definitely gonna be where the final boss is. Surrounded by brutes. You got a chieftain right there. Oh, this is so well done. Oh my gosh. We're just like a single person making this or a group, a small group of just people, fan made content, dude. This is so well done. All right, let's go in, baby. Oh, that chieftain is giving me some swings. He's giving me the swings. Can I get him? Can I get him? He's damaged. Oh, he put on his visibility. No, 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 no. Ooh. Dude, that was so close. Oh, there's a rocket launcher over here, too. Okay. Hunter fruit that's over here. No. No smash. No smash. It's a smash free zone. All right. No smash. No smash! Oh my god, that lunge! <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Okay, let's try this again here. Get you stuck. Get yourself up. Oh! Oh no! No, no, no! Don't go up here! Not up here! Not up here! This is Chieftain. This Chieftain knows what to do, man. I'm trying to get all these other little brutes out of the way first before I go after the Chieftain. If I go... If I can solo queue the Chieftain, it's a, it's gonna be an easy dub. Guaranteed. Alright, let's get that fruit out of here. There we go. Alright, now it's just you and me, buddy. I just see a rocket launcher over here. Okay. See if we can get this over here. There we go. Let's get our good boy Johnson out of his little cage. Yeah, cut the power. Oh, we gotta escape out of this as well. Alright, alright, alright. Like let's make it happen. Watch out. There's one hell of a welcome party. Oh my gosh. Did the AI voice line, the voice cues are so well done. I love this. And the music cues as well, dude. Oh my God. This is so cool. I love this. I know I've been like saying this like over and over and over. Oh my. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I swear. I'll be, I'll, I'll play nice. I swear. Yeah, it's stuck. There we go. Just gotta go through this part again. But this time, we'll win because. I know what I'm doing now, right? 
That's just that's how it's supposed to work when you're playing games. You learn from your mistakes. In typical Bungie fashion, you gotta double back from where you came from because, you know, what's bet you gotta re reutilize the assets. Oh, and then there's two hunters out here too? My gosh. Oh, they turned around right on me. Oh, he's moving in. That's one hunter down. Of course, excellent job with the map design on here too. The level design, be able to at least have like multiple angles you can attack this point from. So it's not just like going through one single hallway to try to kill everything you need to kill. Oh yeah, look at that. Not too shabby. No. I'm able to hit some shots with the mouse and keyboard. Oh my god, he lifted me up in the air. Uh, is there anything for me to like pick up and use out here? Because I'm running kind of low on the ammo side of things. Oh no, no. No, no, no. Ooh, that was so close. That brute is just eating all the bullets right now. Oh, he blocked my freaking spike grenade with his own grenade, dude. There we go. Got that one at least. Yeah, I did kill your pack, mate. He's not gonna be the only one. Oh, he's going full berserk. He's getting very angry at me. Okay, we got the helmet off. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting close. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like literally one shot away, I think, from like finishing this mission. And now I gotta do this whole section all over again. Oh my god, dude. I, this section is way crazy now that the positions of them change. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, yeah, they're retreating back now. Okay, so they have some kind of specific AI scripts that they need to run. Dude, Sergeant Johnson's just gonna be a tank right here. I just know it. Just let Johnson face tank a million different swings from this brute, this hunter over here. They right there, successful. One day. Oh, now he's up in his balcony, dude. Oh my gosh. Let's try this section again without dying. Oh, there's a bunch of battle rifle ammo up here. Oh my gosh. So needed. Probably only knew this beforehand, but hey, this is kind of like traditional Halo level design, though. If the player explores the map a little bit, you kind of you get rewarded with uh, better weapons and stuff like that, which is so crucial to the the Halo experience. And I take down this brute without taking down myself. It's a super sketch because he's got a fuel rod guy and basically two tap me. Oh my gosh, like that. Johnson, the face tanking Johnson. Let's go, baby. Make it happen. No. Oh God, he's so good. He's too good at this, man. Be, be, the, be the tank, Johnson. Be the tank. Be the tank you deserve, you deserve to be. Yeah, I just hear Johnson and this brute just going at it. Everything okay? They're just going at it over here. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. That's funny. This is gonna make it easier for me just to take him down. <laughs> A little bit less epic as probably as intended, but hey man, that's the nature of 2007 Halo 3 AI, dude. It'll just be, uh, sometimes it works out as intended, sometimes not. Oh, and the body disrespect from Johnson too. Oh, you'll love to see it. I'll take that fuel rod for me, guy. There we go. I well Looks like we did it. Some pelicans for Xville. And we're out of here, baby. And Johnson has been saved. Let's go. We did it, everybody. <laughs> Man, this mod was so freaking cool. So happy I downloaded and played this. Guys, if you haven't checked out the mods in MCC with the Steam Workshop, guys, like, it's a must. You gotta give it a play if you can. Link in the description down below if you guys wanna check it out for yourselves. And also thank you much for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and check out the video right here. YouTube is probably recommending something good for you. And trust me, it's some good stuff.